Hey everybody, welcome to week three of Saturday with the Saints. Today's saint is Saint Dorothy of Caesarea, who was a martyr for the faith in Diocletian's persecution of the Christians. So let's begin. Saint Dorothy of Caesarea was born around 279 to 290 AD not exactly sure when in that time that happened, in Caesarea Cappadocia, which is now in Turkey. It is believed that her parents were also martyred when she was young under Diocletian's persecution of Christians. Theophilus, who becomes important later in the story, was a pagan lawyer who asked her to marry him, and she refused. When she refused him, she said, Theophilus, I cannot marry you because you are a pagan. If you will first learn about Jesus Christ and become a Christian, then I will marry you if it is God's holy will. Theophilus was angered when she refused him and in the way that she did it. So he went and told the governor Sapricius about this. And Sapricius sent his guards to her house where they dragged her away and threw her into a dungeon. When she went before Sapricius, he demanded she deny her faith and worship the pagan gods. But she said that she was the bride of Christ, and so she must not turn her back on him. Sapricius became angry and had her tortured until she gave up her faith, but she never did. Sapricius sentenced her to death. While on her way to her death on February 6th, 311 AD, Theophilus saw her and said, Bride of Christ, send me some fruits from your bridegroom's garden. Right before she was executed, she sent him, by way of a six-year-old boy, her headdress, which was found to be filled with heavenly fragrance of roses and fruits. It is believed that that six-year-old boy was an angel sent to help her in this task. Theophilus at once confessed himself a Christian, but was put on the rack because of it and suffered death. There is not much information about her. And what I just told you is the information we have and the rest is legend but she is patroness of some things several things and they are gardeners brewers brides florists midwives newlyweds and the city of Pescia Italy um, there are also many different depictions of her in history including with a wreath of flowers and an angel by her side. She is also often depicted as a maiden carrying a basket of fruit and flowers, specifically roses. Also, she is also depicted with wearing a crown of flowers, such as roses. Um, she is depicted surrounded by stars as she kneels before the executioner, crowned with palm and flower basket surrounded by stars uh, depicted in an orchard with the Christ child in the apple tree leading the Christ child by the hand veiled with flowers in her lap and lastly depicted holding apples from heaven on a branch there are other depictions of her in history but those are just some of the ones that are the most common um she is personal for me because she is my confirmation saint and I have loved her story for many years and I hope you do too. So I will see you next week for another Saturday with the Saints. Bye!